Darren Osborne is staking out the area where he'll commit an act of barbarism in just a few hours' time. It is a quarter past midnight on the 19th of June. He is about to deliberately drive a van into a group of Muslim worshippers, not far from their mosque in North London. 51-year-old Makram Ali was already in poor health and had fallen onto the pavement moments before. The 999 call reporting his collapse is interrupted by the sound of the van mowing people down. Oh, what's the phone number you're calling from in case we get cut off? Uh, 075. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, mate. Someone just come with a big van and run over a whole lot of people. Darren Osborne was a man trying to kill as many people as possible. As he ran away from the wreckage of the van, several men pinned him to the ground. Osborne then apparently said, I want to kill more Muslims. <laughs> Filmed moments later, he has just murdered Makram Ali and injured nine others. Osborne is arrested and pushed into a police van. Amid the carnage and the confusion, the Imam of the mosque urges the crowd to be calm and restrained. He drove into us deliberately. Those people were there at the time and were just missed by the van. And then I noticed Darren Osborne, um, whilst he was uh, lying on the ground, a man leaned down and punched him. So then I immediately intervened and uh, others came in after. To, uh, to help push people back and to, uh, and to ensure that he's uh, handed into the police. The night before, Osborne had hatched his plan in a pub near Cardiff, where he spoke loudly about terrorism. The nine men have been released on bail. Days earlier, he'd watched BBC drama Three Girls, which depicted the Rochdale grooming scandal. He then joined Twitter and started following the deputy leader of far-right group Britain First, Jada Franson. And he was the recipient of group emails sent to thousands by the co-founder of the English Defence League, Tommy Robinson. The head of the Met Police's counter-terrorism command says Osborne, remarkably, was radicalised in just three or four weeks. The material online is a concern for all of us. Uh, and of course individuals radicalising in very short timescales um, is a concern for, 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 for all of us. In court he claimed another man, Dave, had been driving. But in the right hand corner of this CCTV we see just one person, Darren Osborne, jump out of the wreckage. The horror, the terror of that night was caused by a man described by his estranged wife as a ticking time bomb. A twisted murderer fueled by hate who denied even being behind the wheel.